Bessie and Company is also available as a novel for children titled Mr. B and as a novel for adults titled Bessie and Company. It is also available in dialogue titled Bessie and Company for television plays. Other books by the same author include So's a Boy, A Forest of Flowers and Prisoners of Jets. For details, contact the following addresses. <laughs> Empty. Nonsense. Keep off my property. I am hungry, Mr. B. That's your business, not mine. I am starving. Go to bed and sleep, man. <laughs> You'll feel better. I can't sleep on an empty stomach. I haven't eaten since morning. <laughs> Give me something, Mr. B. Anything. A few grains of Gary, some groundnuts. Anything to stay the wolf tearing my inside. <laughs> Look, I told you there's nothing in the house. Absolutely nothing. Here. See the last coin in my pocket. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. Now, why do you want it? I could buy some Gary. <laughs> okay. I look into the paper bag in the cupboard over there. There might be some Gary in it. <laughs> Not a grain. As I said. <clears throat> How does one live on an empty stomach? Oh, it's easy. Doesn't take too long to learn the trick. <laughs> Eating anything today? Nothing. All day? All day. <laughs> I'm sick of it. Sick, sick, sick. Pity is, each time I make up my mind to quit, my courage fails me. <laughs> Stop complaining. What have you got to complain about anyway, huh? What have I got to complain about? <laughs> Haven't I trekked every day from Somalu to the island for three months? Don't I know all the signboards? All the bus numbers? <laughs> That's great, huh? Have you slept on that coal bridge? <laughs> or the rubbish dump at the salon? 
Have you been thrown out by your landlady for non-payment of rent? Have you slept in, in the back of a truck and woken up to find yourself in Ibadan? 100 kilometers away? Terrible. 10 years, man, 10 years. 10 years I've roamed this city. I and the streets of Lagos are friends. I know all their names, and they recognize my footsteps. <laughs> Ten years, no job. But one day, I landed one. <laughs> the next day, I was fired. <laughs> my fault. For getting the job. My fault, I suppose. <laughs> How do you mean? Looking for job at all. No one works here. And most get their millions for doing nothing. Millions. Millions. But I'm not complaining. I've joined them. <laughs> Thieves. Are you mad? Why shout? Suppose my landlady hears you, huh? You want her to turn us out? I'm sorry, Mr. Dean. Yeah, be careful. Careful, or you'll get us in trouble. I'll hang myself when I'm being paid. <laughs> excellent, excellent. But don't do it here. <laughs> Go to a co-bridge, huh? Stand on the railing and throw yourself into the water below. <laughs> do it in broad daylight so someone sees you, rescues you. It's happened before. Okay, light the stove. Come on, light the stove. So there is food after all. <laughs> Oh, no, no, don't oh. jubilate. It's only a tea bag. <laughs> yeah, cash. <laughs> and there's no sugar. Uh, it's better than nothing. <laughs> you know, the last man who tried to jump from the bridge Made it big in the end. <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. He was rescued by the police. And a good Samaritan offered him a job. Today, he owns cars, four wives, and is a minister. <laughs> a minister? Mm hmm Shouldn't I go to the bridge right away? <laughs> oh. Go on, go on. But let me have my tea first, huh? A minister? Let me have my tea. 